All right, so we're going to go over the homework from yesterday. So 6.1 homework. Yes. Yeah. Let's see if somebody will switch with you. All right, so for number one, what's our index? Four. And then our exponent is three. So we could either put it on the inside or the outside. What do you want to do, inside or outside? Let's do it on the outside. So first, let's find the fourth root of 16. So what are factors of 16? Four and four. And factors of four? Two and two. So I'm circling groups of how many? Groups of four. So what's going to come to the outside? The two. But I still have that two to the third power. So what's two to the third power? It's like saying two times two times two, which is eight. Awesome. So our answer here is eight. All right, let's take a look at number two. What's our index? Four. So this is 16 and b to the 12th power on the inside. What are our factors of 16? Four and four, or eight and two, you'll get the same answer. What are our factors of four? Two and two. I'm circling groups of how many? Groups of four, so I have four twos here. So what's going to come to the outside? A 2. And then let's look at the Bs. So I could either write out 12 Bs in circle groups of 4, or I could say that this is B to the power of 12 over 4, because 4 is my index. So what's 12 divided by 4? 3. So it would be B to the third power. So again, two different ways we could do this. We could write out all of these, so B. And then circle groups of four. So I have four here, four here, and four here. So then I have three Bs. So this would be B to the third power. Thank you. Any questions here? All right, number three. What's our index here? Two. So this is the square root of four. Do you want to put the three on the inside or the outside? Inside, we can do that. So four to the third power, we could just say is four times four times four. And then we need to break everything down. So what are two factors of four? Two and two, and two and two, and two and two. So I'm circling groups of what here? Two. Groups of two. So two, two, and two. So how many twos are going to come to the outside? Two. Three, because three, I have three circles. So I have two times two times two. What's two times two times two? Eight. Eight. All right, number four. What's my index here? Two. Two. So it's the square root of r to the fourth power. So I could write out r times r times r times r. I'm circling groups of what? Two. Groups of two. So how many r's come to the outside? Two. So this would be r squared. Any questions here? All right, number five. So here my radical is already there. What's my index on the radical when it's not written? Two. two. So I need a circle groups of two. So let's break everything down. What are two factors of 20? Five and four. So five is a prime number. We're just going to rewrite that there. What are two factors of four? Two and two. And how many x's do we have? One. Three. Three. X to the third power means we have three. So I'm circling groups of what? Two. Groups of two. So I have two twos, and I have two x's. So what's going to come to the outside? Five x. Outside. Oh. Two, x. two x. And what stays on the inside? Five, five 
x. Whatever doesn't get circled stays on the inside. Bless you. What's my index? Four. So this is the fourth root of 10,000. I think it would be easier if we put the three on the outside. So 10,000, we can count how many zeros we have, and that's how many tens we're multiplying. So this would be 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. I'm circling groups of what? Groups of four. So it'd circle all four tens. So what comes to the outside? 10. But I still have 10 to the third power. So this is like saying 10 times 10 times 10. So what's 10 times 10 times 10? 1,000. Perfect. Any questions here? Good with that one? All right, next page. Number seven. So we didn't have one like this in the notes yesterday, but we've done this in the past. What are two factors of 45? Nine and five, and two factors of nine? Three and three. I'm circling groups of what? Groups of two. Remember, when your index isn't there, it's two. So I have a group of two here. Any other groups? Nope. What's going to come to the outside? A three. What stays on the inside? A five. So that's our answer. All right, let's look at number eight. What are factors of 12? Four and three. What are factors of four? Two and two. two and two. So I'm circling groups of what? Two. Groups of two. So I have two twos. Any other groups? Any other pairs? Nope. So what comes to the outside? Two. A two. And what stays on the inside? Three. Three. V. Number nine. What's our index for number nine? Yeah, I'll go back in a second. Three is our index. So this is 125. And then what's our exponent? Two is our exponent. Do you want to put it outside or inside? We'll put it outside. Remember, it doesn't matter if you put it outside or inside. So two is our exponent. So let's find the third root of 125. So what are two factors of 125? 25 and 5. What are two factors of 25? 5 and 5. And I'm circling groups of what? Three. Groups of 3. So I have 3 5. So what comes to the outside? Uh, five. A 5. Does anything stay on the inside? Square. It's 5 squared because we still have that squared from before. So 5 squared would be like 5 times 5. So it's 5 times 5. 25. What's our index for number 10? 2. 64 goes on the inside. And we could either put the exponent on the inside, on 64, or outside. What do you want to do? We can put it outside. That works. So let's break 64 down. What are two factors of 64? 8 and 8. I'm circling groups of how many here? 2. Groups of 2. Do I have a group of 2 already? Yeah, so I could stop here and just circle my eights. So what comes to the outside? Eight. Eight cubes. Perfect, because we still have that cubed from before. So this is like saying eight times eight times eight, which is awesome, 512. So yes, eight times eight times eight is big, but we all know how to multiply. Eight times eight is what? 64. So 64 times 8. Remember, you multiply 8 times 4, we would get 32. 
Write the three up top. What's eight times six? 48 plus three would be 51. So if the numbers are big, write it down. All right, let's look at 11. I'm circling groups of how many here? Two. Groups of two. So what are two factors of 45? Nine and five, and two factors of nine? Three and three. And then I have three U's and one V. So I'm circling groups of two. What am I going to circle? The threes. The threes. And what else? The V's. The U's. So what comes to the outside? Uh, three. three U. What stays on the inside? Um, five UV. Five UV. Perfect. Any questions here? Yes. What are two factors of 144? Perfect. 12 and 12. I'm circling groups of what here? Two. Groups of two. How many X's do I have? Two X's. two X's. And how many Y's? Just one. So if I'm circling groups of two, what can I circle? The 12 and the two X's. The 12's and the two X's. So what comes to the outside? 12 X. 12 X. And what stays on the inside? Y. y. Perfect. Any questions here? All right, 13. I'm circling groups of what here? Two. Groups of two. What are two factors of eight? Four and two. Four and two. And two factors of four? Two and two. And then I have X and three Ys. So what do I circle? Two, two twos and two, two, y. two Ys. So what comes to the outside? Two Y. Two y. What stays on the inside? 2xy. Awesome. Let's look at. We only had one x, so it has to stay on the inside. All right, 14. What's our index? 5. So we have the fifth root of 32. And then what's our exponent? Three. Do you want to put that up top on the inside or outside? We can do it outside. Remember, it doesn't matter. It's up to us. So you can put it outside. So it'll be the last thing that we do. So what are two factors of 32? Eight and four. Two factors of eight. Two and four. Two factors of four. Two and two. And then we have another four here. So we have... Two, 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 and two. So I'm circling groups of what? Five. Do I have five twos? Yep. So what comes to the outside? A two. And then what's my exponent? Two cubed. Oh, yeah, this is the third power. Bless you. So two cubed. So this is two times two times two. Bless you. Which is? Eight. Awesome. Any questions here? Yes. Yes. 